Today we're going to see how to encrypt data or messages using Arduino Giga R1 to protect your secrets. I hope all of you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. This topic of data encryption just came up recently in a cybersecurity course that I'm taking offered by Google. I thought it was a pretty interesting topic. There are many ways to encrypt data and encrypt messages, but I thought it would be a pretty neat Arduino project. So here we are, we're going to do this with Arduino. So let's go ahead and begin. In today's video, I'll be using Arduino Giga R1 microcontroller. And I'll be connecting it to the computer using a USB type C connection. And that also provide power to the board, 5 volt power. I'll be using a 20 by 4 I square C LCD display. And I'll connect it to the microcontroller using four jumper wires that are female to male. And I'll be using a flash drive. This is a small one. It's 8 gigabyte. And it is formatted for FAT32. I'll go ahead and mention briefly about the code that we're going to use. It's well over 200 lines, so I'm just going to mention a few things. The purpose of the sketch is to encrypt the plain text message and code it in base64 and then write the encrypted message, the key, and the initiation vector or IV to a USB flash drive. Base64 is a way to transform binary data into a sequence of printable characters and you do this so that it's properly stored during transfer over media, say email, and it comes out intact without modification during transport. We included an LCD in this project so that it gives you real-time feedback on encryption updates and USB requests and the added USB capability allows the code to detect, mount, and write to a USB stick. There are some things in this code you may need to change. For instance, this I2C address. I'm using 0x27. Yours may be different. You may also change the AES key and IV arrays. Each time you encrypt a message or data, you should ideally use a unique key and ID to improve the security because the same key and IV for multiple encryptions could make the uh, ciphertext vulnerable to attacks. You can also add whatever message you want here as plain text. You can also change the lcd.print messages to personalize what you want to see on screen. You can also change the USB file path in the fopen function. This is the one that I'm using. If you're not using a 20 by 4 LCD display size, you can change it to whatever you need to right here. After you plug in your USB to the computer, you'll be transferring your keys and your encrypted message or data to a text file. So I just created a blank .txt file. You can name it anything you want. I named mine encrypted.txt. And the reason you do this is because when you plug in the USB to the Arduino, it automatically sends that encrypted message and data to this file path. We're going to go ahead and put our USB stick into the computer and we'll right click here if we need to and format for FAT32 for a USB and then create an empty text file. Then we remove the USB from the computer and we plug in the Arduino and we're ready to upload the code for encrypting our message. And I'm just going to encrypt the words secret message here. And we'll go ahead and plug in the Arduino and you'll see an old message on here that's not from the code that we're working on now. Let's go ahead and switch over to the IDE and we'll move this picture down a little bit so you can see. All right, and we're gonna make sure that we have the Arduino Giga R1 board up here and then make sure we have the right comm selected. And after you do that, you're gonna click on upload. And I'm going to fast forward this a little bit because it takes a bit of time for the uh, program to upload rather than delete it and then, um, you know, I want you to see what I'm doing here. So we'll do that. We'll expand the serial monitor a little bit so I can click on that and see what it's telling us once it's uploaded. And as you can see, it's waiting for USB flash drive. And I'm seeing that same message on the LCD. Here's our flash drive with our blank text file in it. And we're just going to insert that into the Arduino here. Once inserted, you'll see a message both in serial monitor and on LCD display. USB was detected, USB mounted successfully, encryption complete, and I can now remove the USB device from the decoder. The encrypted message is on my USB and it's no longer required to remain in the Arduino. We are going to use a second sketch for decryption. This is our decryption code. This one reads the Base64 encoded ciphertext, key, and IV from our USB flash drive and decodes them and then decrypts the ciphertext to retrieve the original plaintext message. 
I have a chart here that describes the difference between the encryption code and decryption code as far as the file operations, the base64 encoding, the AES function, and input and output. Here's our USB with the encrypted message on it, but we need to be able to read it, so let's decrypt it with a new sketch. Here's our sketch, and I'm going to upload it. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I'm going to expand the serial monitor so you can see what's going on. You'll also see some of this text on the LCD display. I removed the previous code from the Arduino, and that's why the LCD display is blank. It is now uploaded, and it's asking me for the USB stick. It's waiting on USB connection. So we're going to put the USB in there, and it'll automatically decrypt my encryption that I put on there with the previous sketch. All right, I'm going to plug in the USB here, and then we should see on the display the decrypted message. Okay, USB driver detected. Mounting file system. Okay, here's our message. Secret message here. That's what I decrypted. I just left that generic message in the code. If we look at the serial display, you'll see the ciphertext key and IV that was decoded, and this is the message that you see on the display. That's all there is to it. Now you should be able to encrypt and decrypt messages using the Arduino Giga R1. I'm by far an expert in this field. I've just been learning about this myself. But if you haven't heard of AES, it stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. It is one of the most secure symmetric algorithms today. There are multiple ways to encrypt data, and symmetric and asymmetric are just a couple of them. AES generates keys that are 128, 192, and 256 bits. Keys of this size are considered to be safe from brute force attacks, and to put that in perspective, brute forcing an AES 128-bit key could take a modern computer billions of years. I originally learned this on Linux, and I wanted to find a way to bring this to Arduino, and the most reasonable way to do that was using the Giga R1, mainly because it has USB native support, meaning that it can interact with USB peripherals like flash drives, keyboards, and mice. That's all I have for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to like it by giving it a thumbs up. Also, share it with somebody else, and consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of stuff, and I'll see you again with another video.